Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will explain how some players have been able to exploit the game early after the launch of Dragonflight and how right now they are probably making millions of gold because of these exploits. So I really want to make this video simply to explain what's happening and also just to bring a little bit more light on this issue because in my opinion it's not really fair to the rest of the players the fact that these people are now able to sell things that they only are able to get because of this exploit and also just to try to understand why Blizzard is not really doing anything to try and fix this issue. So a few days ago Blizzard announced that they disabled the weekly quest called Aiding the Accord. This is a weekly quest that will basically reward you with a lot of reputation points for all the different factions in the Dragon Isles, simply because there were some issues. And a lot of people suspected that it's because basically some players noticed that you were able to complete this quest more than once, and so they just, well, abused the quest and got a lot of reputation points. So this is probably something that could still be unnoticed till this point. But the thing is that with all these different reputations, you are able to unlock specific recipes, plants in order to craft materials and other items that people who have exploited all these different quests have already started to craft. And so now you are able to actually see that these people have reached some level of renown and everything that normally you should not be able to reach after just a few days after the release of the new expansion. So the first thing that a lot of people suspected is recently, uh, two hours ago actually, Mohead shared this article about a new quest line that people who unlocked renown 19 with the Valdraken Accord unlocked. So a lot of people suspected that basically people who were able to reach Renault 19 probably abused the weekly quest. And this is definitely something that we will see is not even the worst. Another example is the jeweled wealthing. So these are some of the pets that you will be able to craft with jewel crafting. And basically in order to craft these different pets, you will need this different glimmering. In order to get this glimmering, you need to unlock the different maps that then will reward you with these uh, items. And in order to get the maps, you need to reach Renown 21 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. So right now, it means that if you are able to craft these pets, and you, it means you have these different materials, and it means you have reached Renown 21 with the Dragon Scale Expedition, which is almost the full reputation. And if you go on the Undermine Journal, you can see that on US Realms, some people are already selling these pets. So it means that some people have already been able to reach Renown 21 and to craft and sell these different pets. And there is another example. So in order to get the mount, the Divine Kiss of Onara, you will need a couple items. And one of them is the Exalted Incense. In order to craft this incense, you need to have an alchemist and to get this recipe. And this recipe can only be purchased at the Quartermaster Usang for the center reputation when you reach Renown 22. So it means that you are not able to craft this incense before you reach Renown 22. And right now, on US Realm, some people are already selling this incense. So it means that someone is already at Renown 22 at least. And right now, trust me, they're going to make a lot of money just by selling all these different items that, well, no one else is able to actually craft before probably like a few more days or maybe a few more weeks. So this is really something that I think is, in my opinion, an issue because these items are going to be very competitive. But for someone to be able to already craft them simply by using an exploit that, you know, Blizzard didn't fix in the first few hours is, in my opinion, again, an issue. So these are, of course, only a few examples, but I'm sure there are many other items that people are not going to be able to craft or at least to make some profit with, and that result directly from this exploit. So I really just wanted to make this video just to let you know of, well, what's happening. And again, just to like try to bring a little more light on this exploit and how people are making gold with this exploit. So I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a good weekend. Bye.